I'm going to cover the paragraph panel, which again, if you need to find it, it's under Window, Type in Tables. And it's pretty much like, um, has a lot of the controls like a uh, word processing application would have. So you have your justifi justifying buttons if you want to line it left, which is normal, center, or right in your text box. So I have this text box selected. I'm going to take it back to line uh, left. You can also have it fully justified with the last line justified left. So you can see the last line in each of the paragraphs is, is aligned left. You can have that last line aligned center. Don't know when you'd ever do that. Or right, same thing. Um, or you can just justify all lines, which really looks pretty horrible to me. Um, so I'm going to go back to this. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to line left. And then um, if you have a spine, I, you know what? I wouldn't worry about these right now, actually. So let's don't worry about those. Um, here, this will set the indent of all the text or selected text. If you only have a little bit selected, this uh, creates an indent from the left. This creates an indent from the right. Um, this indents the first line of each paragraph. Um, and this one right here um, does a right indent of the last line, which you can't really see in here because it only works if you're, if you're uh, right aligned. Now for these other areas right here, um, go watch the drop cap pull quote section and, and I'll, that tells about these this area right here. Um, and then if you want to turn off automatic hyphenation, you can see there's a lot of hyphens in this, which I, partic I don't particularly like. So I usually turn it off and all you have to do is uncheck that and it will adjust your text. Um, this is if you have a grid set, um, but usually you're not going to, so uh, the default is to not have it set to align to a grid, and um, you can just leave it at that.